Hey guys, I'm Julia PK. In today's episode, we continue our talk with Formula E's inaugural champion Nelson PK Jr. about the possible implications of the new Gen 2 race car. The first time I saw the car, I thought, boy, there's going to be a lot of flying body parts when you guys touch, because it's a very physical sport around the corners, and especially when you get bunched up on the very narrow circuits. How do you think that's going to play out? It feels as if, you know, with sort of Batmobile looking car, I feel like a piece of body work is going to just fly off as soon as you touch it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think we're going to know after the first race. And before, that's going to be very hard to kind of predict how it's how the car is going to behave when you touch each other. I mean, it's very even when you get the front wing and you move it around and to try to feel how sturdy they are. It's still not the same thing when you go on track and you really, you know, go side by side with someone. That's when you're going to really see the real what's going to happen. So I think that obviously one of the first things is going to happen, the rear diffuser, you know, people really getting close to each other, touching nose to tail. I think the first thing before now we would touch was the rear wing sort of thing or the, the rear light, the red light that we have in the back of the car. I think now basically the diffuser, the diffuser is the, the thing in the back which sticks out the most. So. And it's very thin, it's very fragile. So I think that might be the first thing that is going to be probably dimbling around uh, during the race. That might be that. Um, they, it worries me a little bit because I don't, I, I'm just worried. I just don't want it to start becoming a factor of luck or not luck. You know, you go into the first hairpin, let's say Hong Kong, everybody's bunched up in the first hairpin. All of a sudden, the way you touched each other, or somebody touched the guy on the inside, he scrubbed on you, and then all of a sudden the front bodywork came out of, of, of its position. And then you're like, well, what do I do now? You know, you stop in the pits, are you going to get a flag? Is the director going to, you know, what, what's going to happen? You know, because last. I mean, this year you saw a few times when the wing was off place, but not really. Sometimes some drivers would, c would continue if the, if the race director didn't say anything, but you had the second car to pit, mm -hmm. get the second car and just go for it. Yeah. So even if you had to live with it for f four or five laps, mm -hmm. you would do it and then pit. Now you don't have Next that. You're gonna have, you, don't have, you have to be the whole race with the same car. So, or the drivers are going to be much careful. Um, well, I don't know. It's, it's a good question because I don't There's going to be play. a lot of pit stops. <laughs> There's, yeah, I mean, something's going to happen. I mean, we're going to see. I mean, maybe we're going to start seeing guys that are going to be very careful and they're going to be the luckiest ones. Or qualifying will be even more important because the further ahead you start, the more away from the mess you'll be. Yeah. And then the guy is starting P10, P11. You know, there's a 50-50 chance he'll end up in the pits to fix his maybe a rear diffuser or front wing or something, you know. Let's hope that the parts are strong enough for the formerly kind of racing.